Hi YouTube, welcome back to episode 10 of the Sims 4 Whimsy Stories Challenge. In today's stream, we are back. And if you wanna go ahead and say hello to our family on Twitch, they are in the on the chat, as you can see on screen. Twitch is saying hello, hello. <laughs> YouTube voice in three, two, one. <laughs> Um, so we are back in today's video. If you guys do enjoy today's video, remember to go ahead and leave it a like, hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell next to it. That way you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss any episodes of this series or any of the other series on my channel. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy today's episode. If you do want to come join the live streams, the link will be down in the description to my Twitch so you guys can come and join. Um, but yeah, either way, let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> Follow her, guys. Come on, leave a like. <laughs> don't, don't demand it of them. Don't, don't demand it. Jesus. Hi, Kenzie. Welcome to the stream. Also, thank you guys for the follow, Stranger Friends, and uh, Kana as well. Welcome to the streams. Okay, right. So in today's stream, we have Dawn giving birth to her baby. She is currently in trimester two. We'll be in trimester three in 15 hours. So we've only got a little bit of time left until she is going to be having this uh, baby. Now, I wanted to ask you guys something. So you remember in, um, yes, was it yesterday's stream? Did I stream yesterday? No, Monday stream. I think it was in Monday stream. If you guys were in Monday stream, you might have remembered that I said I installed Wicked Whims. <laughs> Drama, by the way. Um, I installed Wicked Whims. And it was, it was interesting. Uh, no, I don't want to hang out. Thank you. Um, I installed Wicked Whims and it was, it was, <laughs> it was a lot. Let me tell you. Um, Dawn was, um, Dawn was doing some interesting things in this bathroom. This bathroom is contaminated. Let me tell you, contaminated. But, um, you guys know that I made my own G-Shade preset. So in my G-Shade, when you like view it, right, like right now, there's like really pretty shadows, you see. And then obviously if I click it off, then the shadows disappear. You can see on the game, right? Like I click it and it disappears. Um, so... To be able to run Wicked Whims and not be able to see anything like crusty and nasty um, and anything not fit for viewing purposes, I can technically turn off the, the shadows and we could probably run Wicked Whims for a few streams or a few gameplay streams and then you guys can see whether you enjoy it. The reason why I, the reason why I want Wicked Whims, we're not going to see anything. Everything's going to be like very like covered. It's still going to have like everyone's going to be wearing clothes, you know, like it's, uh, all the, you know, the uh, what do you call it? The pixels will still be there. But with Wicked Whims, it gives you like loads of um loads of gameplay features. Like Sims can like uh, come up to you and ask your sim for like, you know, for some for some woohoo and things like that. So it adds like quite a lot of gameplay features. There's loads of really cool things that come with it. And I haven't played with it in like absolute years. So I was thinking maybe, okay, maybe in next stream for Whimsy tomorrow, I can install it. We can try it for a stream and then you guys can tell me whether you like it or whether you don't really care. What is he doing? Playing pirate. What are you doing? You're such a weirdo. <laughs> Whimsy stories after dark. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I wanted to ask you guys what you thought of that. Um, mods, is there any chance we could get a poll um, to see whether chat would like me to try it for for one uh, for one um, one stream, and then we'll try it. If it's like too much, there's like you know we go into the bar and there's people doing like you know orgies on the bar, then uh, we can always adjust the settings or remove it. But I just yeah, I just want to get you guys' opinion before I do anything. <laughs> I'm here for it, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me let's get the poll and then you guys can vote. What are you doing? Hello? Why are you even here? What are you even doing here? No, no, Lucian. No, 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 no. Don't fix that. Don't fix that. That's Dawn's job. Leave that. Leave that. Leave that. Leave it. She needs to fix it. Okay, you come in here. We need Dawn to work on her um on her what do you call it? Her handiness skills. So that works. Oh, what's that handiness skill at? Oh, level six. Nice, nice, nice. We love it. Exactly. It adds just a little bit of spice and drama, you know? I, I'm thinking I'm thinking we have a little bit of spice and drama. Who said we couldn't? <laughs> Lauren, did you actually get the bits? Um no, I didn't get any bits, uh, Blue Moon. I didn't get any. Um it would it would give a notification on screen if I did get them. Yeah, it apparently it adds so much gameplay, so I really want to try it. Um oh my god, look at little Peanut. Um he was playing with the he was playing with the, uh, what do you call it? With with Daisy. Oh my God, wait, Daisy. 
Daisy, Daisy, our rooster is standing on our dog. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, sure. My my chicken is standing on my dog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you remember in last stream, I said I was gonna download a dog house because obviously the house isn't big enough to fit the dogs and all the like the Sims that we're gonna be having in it. So I installed a. Hold on. All right, I need to turn custom content on. All right, custom content on. I installed a dog. Uh, house that goes outside and th I think the dogs can sleep in it. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. You see it um, But we can find somewhere to stick this and then we can like get the dogs to like sleep outside in this because obviously like I'm th these dogs are gonna be outdoor dogs um, Just because there's yeah, there's physically not enough room to have them inside. <laughs> so <laughs> You know not really much of a choice <laughs> Is that a sims 3 dog shed? Yeah, it's a conversion. It is a conversion. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. Should I do like one on each side maybe? Maybe I do it on each side. I need that dog house in my game. Yeah, if you look up a Sims 4 dog house, you can find it. And then you can, um, yeah, then you can download it. Okay, so what colors should we get it in? I, I want it to match the house. So I think I'll go with, should I go with the, the green one like that? Does that match the house? Oh no, that's way too green. Okay, what about that one? Eh, I guess it kind of matches. I don't know. I mean, I actually do want to do like a complete renovation of the house because right now my house looks like it has wings. <laughs> it looks like it has wings and I need to fix it. So let's just not put the walls up because it's embarrassing and I don't want anybody to see the roof. <laughs> but at least now the dog should be able to. Yeah, I can ask them to lie down and they'll go in there and use it properly, I think. Was it on Mother Sims? Yes, yeah, that's where I got it. Careful, the house might take off. Oh uh, yeah, that's what you get for coming over. Wait, you know who this guy is? This is the guy that um that um sold us the the animals. You remember the one that came over and had really dodgy CC the first time? So I have this thing to get to. Okay, nobody asked, but okay. <laughs> that's bad. It took it out of my bank, but you haven't gotten it. Um, check on uh Twitch support because that because obviously it'll be um it'll be Twitch's side that will like show if they've received it or not. Um, so you have to try contacting Twitch and and see what they say. It could also be that it's delayed as well, but I, I'm pretty sure it never really gets delayed. Um, but I'd suggest checking it with Twitch. Who's who's humming? Is that her? Oh, it's her whistling. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering who was whistling. <laughs> Oh, wow, 96% of you guys want me to try out Wicked Whims. Well, I guess it's gonna happen then. What is wrong with this guy? Somebody? What is he doing? I've never seen a Sim do this before. Is this custom? There's no way. What is he doing? He's playing fake baseball. What is happening? I am, I am just so confused. Oh, it's slice of life. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I have never ever seen a sim do this ever. Like, not one single time. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit confused there. I was gonna say, okay. Yeah, he's actually gone insane. He's just playing fake baseball <laughs> outside. <laughs> oh my god, I just choked on my. <laughs> I just choked on my um, on my breath. Oh god, there we go. Right, okay. How is the how's the garden going, Dawn? It's going a little slow, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, we have one more hatchable egg. Here we go. Right, where is the egg? Hatchable. Right, let's go and incubate it. Guys, we're gonna have another little, um, another little uh, chick joining us. There you go, go and put it in there. We've also got a normal egg too. I'm gonna put that in our fridge so that we can cook with it for the morning or something for, for some breakfast. Okay, Dawn, um, sorry, I, I just saw you getting attacked by the... <laughs> I just saw you getting attacked by the by the bees. Oh look, all of this stuff is available to evolve as well. I think everything's good right now. Yeah, okay, everything's good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, come on in and come and sleep because um, I think the baby's coming tomorrow or the day after. I love your voice. Thank you, Sims. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> Welcome to the stream as well. I thought that was somebody whistling in my house. Yeah, it was echoing through me. <laughs> Is it Lee's birthday? Oh my God, did I forget that it was Lee's birthday tonight? Oh my God, it's his birthday. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 no more sleeping, guys. Wake up, wake up. We need to make a cake. We need to make a cake for, for our son. Hold on, right, Granny's cookbook. Desserts. No, get out the bed. <laughs> Why are you not listening? Have we got anything to make a cake? 
Oh no. Okay, we can only make some cakes. Right, I can make a chocolate mini egg cake. Right, I'll make that one then. Born at Nidoglexon, baby. I just forgot. Can you can you blame a mother for forgetting her son's <laughs> Can you blame a mother for forgetting her son's birthday? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Okay, right, hold on. Let me work on getting this done. Oh my God. Right, okay, you make that. Why is there no lights on? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh, okay, it's ended now. Right, okay, we've got power back. <laughs> I was gonna say, the, the stove wouldn't work because uh, they turned off our power, but it's fine. They fixed it. Are you gonna move a house and are you having twins? Yes, yeah, so our Sim's having twins, but no, we're not gonna move house because it is technically against the rules. Uh, Dawn has to live in this house for her whole entire life. But when she becomes an adult, which is literally gonna be when she has the baby, she's got one more day until she ages up, she will end up um, being able to extend the house slightly. She's allowed a slightly bigger house, but not by much. It's only like an extra 32 tiles. So basically double the size she's got now, but not it's not that big. I'm probably just gonna build straight up. He's already a child. Yeah, Leaf is aging up into a child now. I, cu I couldn't even believe it either. I was like, wow. Oh, level nine of the cooking skill. That's pretty good. Right, okay, pop that in the middle and then let's add some birthday candles to it. There we go. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, and a save reminder from Remy. Thank you so much. And a hydrate from Queen. Thank you so much, sweetie. I know, he's growing so fast. I know. Right, okay, so we've got our cute little cake. Um, Everybody wake up so we can celebrate his birthday. I know you're all trying to sleep, but listen, okay, our son's aging up. I know we all just forgot about him. Can we just pretend it didn't happen? Okay, that would be great. <laughs> right, come in here and come and give him a quick birthday hug. Yeah, express some love to him. And then let's go ahead and help Leaf blow out his candles. Oh my God, I'm having such an itchy, my um, armpit is really itchy. <laughs> Do you guys get it? You know, when you shave your armpit and then you know when like the hairs start to spike and they like rub against the skin. Oh my God, it's so itchy. <sighs> Sorry, I know that was a little TMI, but it's really itchy. <laughs> Do we know what she's having? Yeah, she's having twins. She's having one girl and one boy. Perfect. Oh, oh, he got dressed to have his birthday. Oh, wow. My boy got in his little froggy hat just to be able to age up. He's so cute. Look how small he is. Oh, I love him. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm glad it's not just me that's like, <laughs> that's like that. Where's he going? He's going for a bloody stroll to celebrate his birthday. That's what he gets for being a child. He's now independent. What are you, where are you going, dude? He's moving out already. <laughs> where are you going? Okay, sure game, whatever. I guess there's just not enough room for him to age up in the house. So he came outside. No idea, absolutely none. Oh my God, my armpit is so itchy, guys. <laughs> guys, oh my God. Okay. <sighs> oh, that feels better. There we go. <laughs> Leaf is the cutest baby I've ever seen. He is a really, really cute kid. He's, su he's super sweet. Right, so as a uh, baby, he had the independent trait. Now, bear in mind, he could technically be the heir, right? So it's, we couldn't put it past him to be the heir. He could technically be. But for the time being, I think I'd rather uh, like randomize his traits and see what he gets. And um, then we'll sort of go from there and, you know, see how he does. So it gave him the loner, the green fiend and the insane trait. So I think I'm okay with Lona and, in, uh, and Green Fiend because Green Fiend makes sense because his mum and his dad were Green Fiends. And also he was independent growing up. So it, it could definitely translate into him being a bit of a loner. Um, but I don't want to give him insane. So I want to find a different trait to give him instead of insane. Do you guys have any ideas of like what we see him being as well? How come you have three traits now? Um, I have the more traits in cast mod, which means that my Sims can have five traits instead of four three sorry <laughs> he got the insane trait from his dad no it's not happening no 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 my little boy he's not insane he's not insane he could be a little unstable but not insane <laughs> just not insane we could have him be sensitive um or we've got like tender he could be like really sweet um maybe open-minded he gets inspired and works on creative skills more um what type of, um... okay, hold on. So having a look at his skills, he got level two in everything. So he's actually very much like an all rounder. I was gonna say maybe if he had like a higher level in creativity or something, but he actually, he, he's like really good across the board. He's like very even. 
I think sensitive, yeah. Okay, let's do sensitive. So that means that he, he can sense and react to nearby Sims emotions. It can be exhausting for him. Um, so he can get very exhausted when people are like, you know, struggling around him. But also he's like very much like an empath, you know, he like feels other people's feelings. I think that which is sweet for him. Uh, what do you think we should give him for his aspiration? Do we see him being more of like a creative kid? Do we see him more of being like sciency and smart? Do we see him more being like active or probably not social since he's a loner? So pr I would personally go with one of the first three. What do you guys say? Creative or mental or motor? Okay, it seems like most people are going for creative, but we have got a few for mental too. Creative, I mean, his name is Leaf. He could be a painter. I could see him being a bit of a painter. Oh, wait, actually, he is a green fiend. So he could be um, like an, like a, what do you call it? One of the conservationists or not conservationists, but whatever they're called um eco innovator he could he could go into that what if he's an eco innovator do you think he's more creative or mental i don't know where that would sit him i see him being insane he's not gonna be insane <laughs> my kid is not being insane <laughs> mental okay well we can give him the mental trait and we can always change it afterwards anyways can't we we're not stuck with it um if we give it to him okay there we go he's aged up let me have a look and see how he looks let me see <gasps> Okay. Oh my God. He's got a little gap tooth. <gasps> he's got a little gappy tooth. He's so cute. And look at his eyes. Oh my God. He's, he has such blue eyes. Did he always have blue eyes? Wait, who did he get those off of? He has blue eyes. I'm so confused. Didn't he have green eyes growing up? He looks hundred percent like a sire. Yeah. He does really look like a sire. He's actually really cute without CC. Yeah. He's, um, he's, he's very, very cute without CC, which we love. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go and put this away in our household inventory just so that we don't lose any of it. And um, we need to buy him a bed to sleep in. Um, so I think we're gonna grab, um, I don't want like a really bad bed or anything. Maybe I grab him this one, maybe one of these, I don't know. Oh yeah, look, all my things are messed up. <laughs> I can give him a little camper's bed. That's a bit weird though, isn't it? Also, if you can hear my dog barking, please ignore. Bonnie just likes to express the fact that she's small all the time. <laughs> a bunk bed. I'll probably get him a bunk bed when we extend the house. I, I probably will. For the time being, let's just get him like quite a cheap bed because we really can't afford too much anyways. We will go for... Um, let's go for that one. I guess it's fine. Yeah, I've got a mod installed where I can click on the beds and if I pay a thousand simoleons, wait, it doesn't work on single beds? It works on big beds. Oh wait, no, it's not working. Is that because of the update? Oh no, only adults can do it. There you go, look, now if I click on the bed, if I pay a thousand simoleons, I can buy a better mattress, which levels it up. So even if I buy like a trashy bed, I can level it up so that it's like more comfortable, you know? Um, right, let's quickly go in and give Leaf like a super quick little makeover. Nothing too crazy, but we'll just spend a little bit of time, you know, sorting them out. <laughs> yeah, I probably will swap it out to a bunk bed eventually, but for the time being, uh, no, just not for now. Guys, did I swear, I swear he had, um, I swear he had green eyes. Am I just stupid for thinking that? Or has he always had blue eyes? I don't know. Hold on. Let me check like the eyes underneath. Have you got green eyes? Yeah. So you've got green. Right. Yours are definitely green. So what is going on? Where did he get green? I swear he had green eyes. Maybe, maybe let's just say that his eyes changed color. I don't think that that's something that, you know, it d doesn't happen to kids. I think it's fine. I think his eyes definitely could have changed color. What do you guys think? Because he's now got green eyes. He's now got blue eyes. So I guess I should just like, you know, Leave him. If he's got blue eyes, he's got blue eyes, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Alonzi. I was helping my mum. What's going on? We just aged up. Um, we just aged up little... Um, oh, I don't... You know what? I really do not like the alpha skins on children anymore. I really prefer the Maxis Match skins on them. I feel like they look so much nicer. I don't really know what skin to give him, though, for the time being. Mm, I'm not sure. 
Like all of these skins, I just really don't like them. They're too detailed. They make them look like little old people. <laughs> like it's a little weird. That one's not that bad, I guess. No, I don't really like them. Um, do we have any pictures of Leaf of when he was younger? Because I do not remember what he looked like. Like at all. Um, no, I don't think he had any skins like this. Hmm. No, no. Um, I really don't know what skin to give him. Hmm. Oh, okay. So Sire could have had blue underneath, like by accident. Maybe. His mouth is really far from his nose. Some, like, sometimes kids' proportions, they're kind of like that. And then when they age up, they're actually like, they'd be normal again, <laughs> you know? But sometimes um, they can look a little weird and then they, they get more normal, you know? So I don't think it's, I don't think it's anything to worry about. I think we're going to go with that, um, with that overlay. And then let's grab him some eyelashes as well. Um, we'll give him like more, yeah, like, like, um, shorter eyelashes. Do you think I should, um, do you think I should pull his like lips up and then like when he ages up again, I can pull them back down. They're, they're not coming up. Okay. There we go. Maybe I should just pull his lips up just for the time being. And then when he ages up, I'll bring them, bring it back down. Cause at least then that way he's got a bit more of a normal face, isn't he? <laughs> he's got a bit more of a normal face now. <laughs> Sorry, kid. You, your face is always normal, but you, you get what I mean. I think they were fine. It's okay. We can always bring them back down. We can always bring them back down again when he gets older. You mostly, uh, you use mostly Maxis Match skins. Yeah, quite a lot on the kids. Um, on my adults, no, but on my kids, yeah. So well, I'm thinking, do we keep the blue eyes that it's given him or do we give him some green eyes? Ooh, those are kind of, you know, I kind of see him more with green eyes. I'm going to go with the fact that his dad probably had the wrong eyes set underneath and his dad had um his dad had um what do you call them his dad had uh black eyes but he got his mum's eyes and i think it's just i think it's just um glitched out a little bit i think greeny blue we could go with a, like a compromise where we could get green and blue together we can find a set of contacts that are like that what have we got right these ones they're kind of bluey green, these contacts. Those could work. Oh yeah, Andy had his birthmark. You're right, hold on, let me get that one. Where is the little birthmark? Um, Where is that? I don't know where it was. We're gonna have to find that again. I don't know where it is in here. Oh, it's here? Yeah, where, where was his birthmark? Wasn't it just like on, a, like it was a little patch on his face, right? Like that? Wasn't it like that? Is this where his birthmark was last time or was it in a different place? I think it was there, right? I'm pretty sure it was there. Guys, am I right in saying that? He also had freckles, did he? Oh my God, I'm forgetting the poor kid. <laughs> I've literally forgotten what he looked like. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And then I'm going to give him a little nose overlay for the time being. His mum had this nose overlay. His mum had this one. So I could give him the same nose overlay as his mum. I don't really like that on him, I don't think. Actually, his nose looks exactly like his mum's. Maybe I do give that to him then. Um, hmm. Okay, maybe, maybe I do give it to him. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's call it, uh, yeah, let's leave it like that. Me and Leaf have a, a birthmark in the same spot. Oh, that's so cute. You're matching. <laughs> and then he's got the black hair. So we'll keep that as well. I'll give him a hairline overlay. And uh, what did his freckles look like, guys? Did he have quite a lot of freckles or like a little bit of freckles? Like, how did he, how did he look? Oh, sorry. Did I miss Blue Moon's bits? Thank you so much for the 100 bissy sweets. Sorry, I missed them. Um, I was I was distracted with Leaf. <laughs> Soft freckles across the face. Right. Okay. So we'll match them up as well. Let's give him a new set of eyebrows. Um, I think I quite like those. He's got very, very round eyebrows, isn't he? 
like super rounded eyebrows. He's got a very like, you know, like innocent face. He looks so sweet and innocent. Like considering, I feel like most of my boys, they look really like hard, like hardened, you know? And he just looks really sweet. Like, look at him. Look at this little cutie pie. He looks so cute. I love him. I think this is the hair that he had as a kid as well. Oh yeah, I guess he could have more since he's been exposed to the sun a bit more now, right? That kind of makes sense. Um, okay, I don't know what I don't know what hair I'm gonna give him for the time being, but let me just give him his freckles. Doesn't he look so innocent? He looks so sweet and cute. <laughs> okay, so we want some little freckles just across the face. Okay, what about? Um, I kind of like those. Guys, what do you think of those freckles? I actually think they look really cute on him. And then we'll give him some other eyelashes back. Like that. Oh, come on, guys. He looks so freaking cute. Look at him. Oh, he had more than that. He had more freckles. Me? I gave him more. <laughs> um, I'm going to give him like a little bit of lip chappage too. Of course. All my kiddos get a little bit of lip chappage. There you go. No, he's so cute. <laughs> it's official. I would die for Leaf. He's so cute. Oh, wait. You know what I want to give him? Okay, I cannot miss this out. He needs to have on, like, either a green beanie or something froggy related. Oh, my God. The same froggy hat. Okay, maybe not as his everyday. Maybe I'll just give him a beanie as his everyday for the time being. But I am going to give him, like, green things, you know? He legit stole Dawn's face. Yeah, he looks so much like Dawn in my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think he looks like Dawn or like Asaya? I personally think he looks more like Dawn. Hmm, what hair do we go with? Let me take the hat off for the time, just for now. I hate saying for the time being, sorry. Okay, I am going to give him a little bit more freckleage since somebody said that he had more and nobody can tell me not to put on any more freckles. <laughs> Oh, he had more, you say? Oh, more? <laughs> you mean any excuse for me to give my kid more freckles? <laughs> John really said copy and paste. <laughs> oh, that is such a cute little hair on him too. Oh, guys, he looks so cute. And that hair too. He has um, a very interesting like chin from the side, doesn't he? I hope he does get a chin as he gets older. <laughs> Oh, and that one too. Oh my God. How am I supposed to decide? How the hell am I supposed to decide? He just looks cute in everything. I don't know. Yeah, he has the exact same nose as Dawn. Like the exact same nose. I think I want to give him more green eyes. Like the ones that he had as a kid. I think I gave him the exact same eyes as his mum, which were these. I think these were the eyes that he had. But I could definitely go with like those or these ones instead, which are like more of a greeny blue. <laughs> yeah. That hair, yeah, should I should I give him this one? I mean, to be honest, all the hairs look really good on him as well. Like even that one. Look how cute he looks. Oh, he's so sweet. I think he's going to be a very very handsome boy too. I think he's going to I think he's going to grow into a very handsome boy. Even that one. Why does he look cute with a little bowl cut? I don't know why. I don't know why he's suiting the bowl cut, but he kind of is. They were lighter green. Should I give it? I'll just give him his mum's eyes back then, probably. I'll just give him the other ones. Um. Oh, yeah, this is him with, like, actual long hair. Sneak peek of how he looks as a teen. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You're not allowed to see. <laughs> um, oh, those could work. What about those ones, guys? I mean, those are kind of like hazily colored. What do we think? Of like really light eyes? Yeah, do we like these? And then can I give him the, the hoodie, like little thing back? Oh, come on. Stop. I'm dying. This kid is too much for me to handle. Oh, actually, you know what will really suit him? Where is that, um, you know, that kit that came out the other day for the kids stuff? And it came with the cutest little bag for kids. Where is it? 
it came with this really really sweet little bag and i could just real oh, i could see him wearing something like this too oh come on or oh, this little sweater <gasps> oh look how cute he looks guys oh he looks so cute <laughs> His dad's could darken the shade. That's true, actually. That is true. Since his dad had black black eyes, didn't he? Uh, where is it? Oh, this one. Oh, that one could suit too. Oh, how am I supposed to decide which one to give him? Oh, I really like this one with the leaves on it. Oh, I love that. Guys, he's so cute. I cannot. He's so sweet and innocent. Come on. And then we'll give him... Oh, I actually kind of like that. Oh, okay, stylish king. Okay, stylish king. Look how good he looks. He actually looks really, really cute in this little outfit. Oh my God, wait, he looks so cool. How cool does he look? You'd want to be friends with this kid at school. But he's a loner, so he's not going to be friends with anyone. <laughs> he's literally like this, this little loner that doesn't want to be friends with anybody in school. Um, I'm also going to give him some earrings, I think. Because all of his family, they all have piercings. So I feel like he would probably want to get piercings too, you know. So I'll just, give him, I'll just give him some little studs for now. Little diamonds. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? He has the look. Okay, guys, are we settled on the eyes? Or do you think I should change the eyes? What do we think? Yes or no to the eyes? Should I go for slightly darker eyes on him, maybe? Or like less of the brown? I don't know. Chat, what do I do? He's defo gonna be a stoner in high school. You know, I could see it. I kind of see him maybe like going off the rails a little bit, you know? I kind of see him like not going off the rails, but like very much, I don't know, like being comfortable in himself and stuff. Leaf smoking that leaf. <laughs> Less brown, more green. I think these ones are fine, to be honest. The only thing is, what does his eyes look like underneath? They're more greeny. You know, I think we're just going to leave the original green ones that his mum has on. Because that's the ones that he had as a kid. And I think they're just safer to go with, you know? And then that way we can't go wrong with them. What do you think? Yeah? And then I'm also going to do his sleepwear. Since we're probably going to see him in this like sleepwear quite a lot as well. Since he's going to be a little kiddo and sleeping in the house as expected <laughs> it's kind of what you do um you sleep in the house <laughs> so i'll give him this with like a little little top or something maybe something like these what have we got yeah something like that with a little pair of shorts or something i wish i could find more alpha eyes all of my alpha eyes are by um they are by um sims 3 melancholic that's probably like my favorite one so if you haven't got theirs i would highly recommend them um ooh, okay maybe this or maybe these yeah maybe like that well he looks so cute come on he is he's gonna be such a sweet big brother i think hannah and pickles with the follows thank you guys for the follows welcome to the stream as well all right there we go right we're done with leaf what do you guys think of him I think he looks dead sweet. He's going to make a really, really uh, cute little brother. And uh, he's going to be having his siblings come and join him in literally like a few days. So that's exciting. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine I put his bed outside. I can't. No, I can't. I can't have... No, I can't have him sleep outside like the dogs. The dogs are furry. Okay. So they have got an excuse. I cannot have... No, I cannot do that. <laughs> Brainy with the 10 bitties. I could see Leaf being a foster parent when he's older. Well, that would kind of make Leaf a really, really good potential for being Gen 2 heir then. I think it's really going to be something where we're going to see how Leaf gets on. And um, if we kind of feel like he's going to be suitable as the heir for next gen, then great. If not, then, you know, I think we'll go from there. And also... If we do, if, if he does end up being the heir and we do want to continue on with him and we want his genetics to be next gen, we could always use a surrogate and he could, um, you know, he could use a surrogate and um, have uh, have children of his own that are like biologically his with another woman. 
Um, and we could do it like that if we really, really want the next gen to be related to this gen, you know? Okay, has he got school tomorrow? He currently doesn't go to school. Okay, I think it will sign him up in a little while then. Hi, Stephanie. You know, should I just swap his bed to a loft bed? Wait, I might not even be able to afford it now. Let me check if I can even afford a loft bed. I might not be able to. Oh, no, we can. Oh, we can, we can, we can. Right, I think we're going to do... Oh, my God, that bed is so cute. Look at that one. Okay, maybe we go with that one. <laughs> and we've got it in... Oh, we've got it in, like, the same design that he had as a kid. Oh, that one's cute too, though. Ugh, okay, I'm going to go with this one, I think. Yeah, okay, I like that one. That one's good. Keep in mind, Gen 2 is an educator. Well, technically, he could definitely be an educator since he's currently a whiz kid. So he's like really, really smart. And he's also a loner. So it could definitely make sense that he could end up being a teacher in the future. I don't know. I mean, he is a potential for Gen 2. I don't know, guys. I think it's going to be like, we're going to see whether Dawn has the children, the, her, you know, twins. And they might be more closely to the potential of next gen. I think we should probably take a look at next gen's rules before we decide anything anyways. It's the air. We need his genetics. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you so much, Lady Vicky, for the two gifted subs. Thank you so much. That is so incredibly generous of you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, can we please get some love in the chat? Oh, my God. Look at them. They look so small in there. When they become big doggos, they will, um, they'll fit in the bed a bit more <laughs> right now. They look so teeny tiny in there. It's like they look, they look so odd sized in there. Okay, everybody, come and grab a serving of... Um, Come and grab a ser Oh, are you grabbing a serving? Yeah, take a piece. There you go. Everybody come take a piece of food together and we can all share some share some cake. There you go. Come and come and uh, pick up a serving. Yeah, exactly. I think he's a potential right now. It's not like we're like cutting him off. He's definitely an option, but it's going to be like how are the next gens, you know? Like they might be more suitable. We don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, the the next uh, children that she has. Oh my God, drama! Look at that. Oh my God, who got married? Oh, I need to see this. Where where they go? Um. Oh, Lucian dislikes mischief. Oh, sorry, he likes mischief. You know, I could kind of see Lucian being this like funny kind of like you know like I don't know like dad who always makes jokes with his kids. So I could definitely see that. I like that. Um, but yeah, look, Cassandra Goff got married to Don Lothario. What is that? Drama, drama. Look at that. Look at that pairing. <laughs> um, Chelsea with the tier one for 30 months. Chelsea, that is absolutely insane. Hey, Bacon. How are you doing, sweetie? Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Chelsea? Chelsea is my amazing, amazing mod. She is so kind and so sweet and so, so, so loving. So if we could get loads and loads of love in the chat for her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we've also got Neve with the gifted sub as well. God, you guys are so generous. Stop with all the gifted subs. That's so generous of you guys. Why are you not eating the cake, babe? Make the most of this cake. Actually, I'm going to put it away um, in the things so that we don't lose it as well. Is he tired? Why does he Why does he look like that? It looks like he's got like really big bags. <laughs> oh, thank you for the snacky time redeem. Guys, there is a snacky redeem from Storyteller. If you guys want to go, grab a snack, bring it back. Let me know what you grabbed um, and go and grab a snack so you can get comfy for today's stream. If you don't want to grab a snack, grab a drink or grab a blanket, whatever you, whatever you fancy that will make you most comfortable. But you can go and grab that. Oh, look, he's going to sit next to his mom. Oh, let me, um, let me go. Oh my God, ask to feel baby. Didn't she ask him at one point if, um, he, she asked him, didn't she? If, um, if he'd want, uh, siblings and he said, yes. Am I right in saying that? I'm pretty sure he said yes to wanting siblings. So he's probably really excited to meet his new siblings. So I want him to like, oh, look, that, sorry, that is too cute. Wait, don't go and be mean. Complain about flavor. What of the cake? That's so mean. Don't do that, Leaf. Oh my God. Can you tell him off for doing that? Why does he want to do that? Why do you want to complain about the flavor? <laughs> Your mom slaved over that damn kitchen just to be able to, <laughs> just to be able to make that cake for you. And you want to complain about the damn flavor? Okay, we get it, right? Leaf doesn't like chocolate, guys. Add it to the books. He doesn't like chocolate, whatever. Right, going off to sleep. Did, have you joined grade school? Yeah, okay, right. He's in. A, he's at a C grade right now. Has he got school tomorrow? No, okay, he has the weekend off. That's not too bad. 
right, you go use the toilet and then everybody needs to come get to bed because I want to see these babies born like ASAP. Feeling rebellious already, yeah, sitting there like being horrible to his mom. Thanks, great. <laughs> Oh, I had cinnamon hot chocolate earlier waiting for my nuggies. Oh, I'm jealous. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Yikes. Definitely a non-mainstream kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, What was that little notification? I don't even know what that was. Oh, the coop that was incubated. Oh my God. Guys, 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 guys. I think we have a chick. Do we have one? Where are they? What happened? Where are they? I thought it was incubated. Oh, I need to go out there and hatch it. Oh, quick, Dawn, wake up, wake up. We need to go hatch it. Leave me like, mum, I don't like chocolate. It's disgusting. I'll be like, kid, you get what you're given. <laughs> kid, you don't get to choose what cake you get, okay? We only had a certain amount of ingredients. It was either that or like honey cake. But I'll remember it for next time. Next time I won't give him a damn chocolate cake so he doesn't complain. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Let me see. It's so cute! Did you see a little like kickflip with her with her leg? It's so cute. No, little chick. Have we got another one? Oh my god. Okay, please no bees, 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 bees. Okay, go and apply some mite treatment because they are so pissed. And then try and bond with them and see if they like you more. <laughs> He'd be like honey cake all the way. Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna need to start collecting some honey. So okay. Yeah, that's where you go, bees. You go on the plants, not. <laughs> Not on your mother, okay? Stop attacking us. Oh, what is he coming out here to do? Is he coming out here to kiss her or just chat with her? He's coming out here to be like goofy with her and like, like be funny. He's such a cutie. I love him. <laughs> oh, look at him. What's he doing now? He's starting a preposterous rumor. Of course he is. Yeah, he's sitting there starting a rumor by, like, did you hear about this? And then he's like, oh, I'm just joking. Like, okay. <laughs> okay, Lucian, I think you need to go back to bed, baby. <laughs> Cute, yeah, the little chick is so cute. Oh, do you guys want to name the chick? Should I um should I call the little chick out? It is a little boy, it's a little rooster. Do you guys want to name the rooster chick? We'll have um we're probably gonna have to get rid of him though, since he's a rooster, and we only want like one rooster per you know, per thing, but it's fine for now. We can name them. I'm sorry, we can't have roosters because too many of them are not gonna be like helpful to us. Did it, is it just me or did he just glitch out of bed and then end up here and smell the floor and then he just glitched back into bed? I swear I just saw him do that. <laughs> Why is Dawn sad? Um, she's sad from losing a friend. I think it was, um, I think it was a doggy. I think it was when we lost, um, yeah, I think it was when we lost Lady. She's really sad about losing Lady. Oh, is he awake? Yes, he is. What does he want to do? He wants to level up his social skills. Okay, I can respect that. Come and um, eat some leftovers. Why are you guys not sleeping? Guys, go back to sleep. What's going on? Sleep. Damn it. Sleep. <laughs> go back. There. Okay, great. Is she going to have the baby this episode? Yeah, she's going to have the babies this episode. I'm very excited for them. Oh, no. What's going on here? Is that hair? Are one of them hairy? I think one of them's hairy. Okay, go over there and give one a treat then. There you go. Who's this? This is a little Hazel. Oh, here you go. It's a big treat, Hazel. So cute. All right, and then let me um, let me give Peanut. Um, let me let me pet Peanut too. Peanut needs a little bit of love. Here you go, guys. There's some breakfast. I feel like uh, Leaf would be this really really helpful kid who would like help around the house and things. I I definitely get that impression that he would be like very helpful to his family. He's not going to be that type of kid that's like, you know, like really disconnected. I feel like he's going to be very much like a family, family kid. Does that make sense? Like very included in his family and stuff. Um, call them the first thing you can think of, Lauren. It's not like he will stay so we don't have to worry about the name. Um, you know what? Let's see what the game suggests and we'll just name him whatever that is. Nugget. Didn't I, t didn't I say I would name one of the, one of the chicks Nugget? I swear I said that. Okay, I'm gonna call him Nugget. We are going to have to sell him. I know, like trade for Somalians. I am gonna have to get rid of him. I know it sounds horrible, but he's a rooster. I'll keep him for now until the coop is full. When the coop is full, then I'll have to sell him. He can stay for now. I don't wanna get rid of him. Oh, he's honestly, Lucen is such a cuddly little baby. He, he is always the little spoon. Like every single time in bed, he's such, the, he's such a little spoon. He loves it, honestly. <laughs> Oh my god! Not what the uh, Lucian! <laughs> oh, oh, she's got her um, 
She's got her uh, third trimester appointment, like before she gives birth. She needs to go in. She needs to go to this appointment, I think. Oh my God, why is she angry? What now? What happened? Oh, from your unfulfilled dreams. Baby, we're having twins. What more dreams do you want? Like you got pregnant when you were literally basically infertile. Like, leaf with the leaf blower. <laughs> Oh my God, look how big she is, guys. <gasps> look at the big belly. Big old twins in there. Some big babies, I think. Some big children. <laughs> no, I'm not selling him for me. Don't worry. That, that's too messed up. That's too much for me. No, 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 Lucian. Can you come and sell him off? He's not being a very good kid. I was like, I feel like he's going to be such a good kid and really help around. Right, you're going to go and uh, firmly tell him not to make a mess. There you go. Oh my God, my Sims all the time get that anger because of unfulfilled dreams. I'm considering deleting it, like having my Sims not be able to get that that fear because it's, it's ridiculous, honestly. It's so stupid. Right, okay. Do not do that, okay? And that means you've got to clean it up. Yep, that means you have to clean it up. You made the mess, you clean it up. That's how it works in this house, okay? Oh my God, it is Easter though. Do you want to go hunt for Easter eggs? Yeah, go do an Easter egg hunt. Go on. Um, can we hunt for eggs in here? No. Okay, can we hunt for eggs in the bath? Yes. What about in the beds? Yes. Oh, okay, I already know. Why are you... <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm going to find out that gender's the babies. <laughs> Babes, I already know. It's twins, thanks. <laughs> and there's two. And they're one of each. <laughs> I know, the fears are so annoying, but there is a mod where you can like get rid of the fears that you hate. Oh, Amira wants to come over and see us. Yeah, sure. Come on over. Oh my god, yeah, the career one. So I've removed so far the the being afraid of getting cheated on and also the the career one, like the dead end job. But I might get rid of the unfulfilled dreams too because they're just they're just really annoying to be honest. Like my sim has a fear every 2 seconds, like and it's the same fear over and over. I hate it. All right, why don't you go and um Oh, actually we need to decorate the house for Easter. Is that what you want to do? Oh yeah, they do. Uh baby and dawn babies and dawn are looking great just keep doing what she's doing okay good 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 we do need to set up um a call with the obstetrician i think it's called i don't really know what, what it is but we need to yeah call obstetrician and then we need to schedule what type of birth we want i don't have the home birth mod installed otherwise i would have had dawn go all the way for that but i don't have that that one installed so we just have to take what we get uh oh okay what one should we guy what one should we do surgery natural or cesarean i kind of see her doing a natural delivery personally but maybe we do another one yeah we see a natural delivery i think so too get rid of every fear every fear is annoying in the sims definitely go natural okay let me schedule for natural and it's a low tech way yeah we're gonna choose that one there we go all right she's set up for a natural delivery um she's toes and natural if you change your mind you may call your obstetrician oh yeah she is actually having twins can you you can have twins naturally right but it's just kind of rare most of the time it is possible to have twins naturally though right i'm pretty sure it is it's very rare really is it that rare it is possible though right because i don't really hear of that many people that have twins that have them naturally not anymore at least I think they do cesareans just to be safe nowadays, you know? Like, just because cesareans are then um, not what they used to be. They're very safe now. Yeah. Um, uh, we need to collect honey and, and beeswax, if you want to come do that. Oh, really? More than 40% of twin births are natural births? Oh, Okay. Oh, that's interesting actually i didn't um i didn't realize that's such a high percentage when you think that 40 percent that's very high oh my god he's getting absolutely mauled by the beans <gasps> oh no oh my god i forgot to tell you guys so you know bonbons she got stung by a bloody hornet yesterday so i spent the whole of yesterday sitting on the sitting on the sofa with bonnie because she was she was sitting there like crying in pain because she decided to try and eat the hornet so then I had to call out the vets and give her Puritan in case, in case she was allergic to their sting. 
um, because obviously where she's so small, she can get like very sick if she's allergic to it. So then I had to give her Puritan and I had to just sit there and like, you know, cuddle her because she's such a little baby. And she's like, she was like, nee, nee, like next to her on the sofa. And I was like, I was like, I'm trying to have, I'm trying to have sympathy for you, but I don't because you tried to eat him. You tried to eat the hornet. Like, what do you expect? If you try and eat the hornet, the hornet's going to sting you. Uh, I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. Um, let's, I feel like Dawn would say focus on different topics. I feel like Dawn didn't really do the best in school. So she like, you know, she tells her kids to like, like try different things. You know, if you're struggling with one thing, then try something that you enjoy because you'll apply yourself more to it. Amira stays at their house like girly. I don't understand why she's here, but it's fine. She can make herself at home, whatever. Right, um, I think we should do a little bit of, um, I think we should do like some fabricating or like making candles. Um, has she got any? Yes, okay, we need to create floor lights. Huh, okay. Um, can we make them? We don't have enough bits. I think we need to go and um, do a bit of dumpster diving and get rid of whatever we have in our inventory. So I think we're gonna, oh my God, these bees are actually just rude. No, they are so rude. Right, apply some mite treatment because they are pissed. Try bonding with them again. They're such angry little bees. What is wrong with you guys? Oh my God, she's been stung twice. That's what a nightmare. Guys, why don't you love me? I'm trying my hardest with you. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Oh, I invited her? Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> my bad. Anyways, I'm going out, Amira. Keep the boys busy, I guess. And we just completely forgetting that I invited her around, whatever. Um, I want to go to the maker space over here as well. Dogs should not play with the spicy flies. You should tell my dog that. <laughs> to be honest, she like um she went to go bite it because I, I went outside and I was like, what is she doing? She had a she had a nose like right in a flower. And I was like, what are you doing? I was laughing at her because I was like, you've been so stupid. And um, and then all of a sudden I saw this hornet like fly around her. And I was like, Bonnie, come, Bonnie, come. And I called her over. She she looked at me and then she looked back at the she looked back at the hornet and was like, try to go, like, try to, well, she lost it because it flew away. Um, and she lost it and she didn't realize where it was. So she was nussling around in the plant trying to find it. And um, and then it came back and then it stung her on the nose because um, I saw it land on her nose and she went, Ugh! like, and she jolted back a little bit and then she bolted straight for me. And I was like, I was like, it's okay, it's okay. She like jumped at me and she was like, <laughs> and then she started licking her nose over and over. And I was like, you got stung, didn't you? You got stung. <laughs> yeah, she didn't have it. She didn't have a swollen face at all. Um, so it didn't like it couldn't have been that bad. I don't think that it really like the stinger went very far. But she's a bit of a baby. I'm not gonna lie, she is. She's a little baby. Um, excuse me, Diego. Could you like just like go away? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> I have the calm bees mod by Little Miss Sands, and it helps them calm off. And maybe I need that because honestly, these bees are a nightmare. Who do you think you are? Just like like waltzing over here why are you so angry can you not <laughs> my dog likes to play with the spicy flies yeah i mean normally they chase normal flies but um this time she saw a hornet and uh she met her match you know yeah dogs with swollen faces from being from bees and hornets they are kind of cute though like <laughs> Yeah, I know. She's like in her third trimester, like seven, eight months, nine months pregnant. And look, <laughs> she's, just, she's just throwing herself in this dumpster. No care in the world. She is so heavily pregnant that her stomach is scraping against the side. But she doesn't care. Not, not a single care from her. Not even one. Okay, what have we got? We've got this hanging chair that we can get rid of. And I think that's it. That is literally it. We have nothing else. Large pet poop. I guess we'll add that to it as well. Dirty double. I'm not going to need that either. Right. Let's get rid of that stuff and see what we get. Can you not do it? What are you complaining about? Let's go do it. Oh my God. Did she wee herself? Oh, I hope not. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Hi, Gypsy. I'm late to your stream today because we were watching our builders uh, clear our lot to build our new home. No, there's no worries. I hope that was exciting though. I bet that is super exciting to, to see that going down. Oh my God, does she only get two and seven bits and pieces? 
Guys, I'm getting a bit bored of those bits and pieces things. Like, I will just cheat them. <laughs> Like, I will. I'm not going to sit here and have to wait, like, 50 years to do anything. I just cannot. Oh, my God. She got 16 from that random little duck. Are you kidding me? When I recycled the duck, she got 16 of everything. But when she... You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding. Like, are you joking? Oh, my God. Will is flirting with Diego. Look at that. Drama. Hi, Tiff. How are you? Uh, sorry for being late. No, that's okay. I'm good, thank you. I'm popping in now as my friends are here. We're having a chilled night. Oh, the Wing Saga. Yes. <laughs> Galaxy milkshakes. Uh, oh, my God. Spaghetti bolognese. Love. My day's been really good as well. Thank you. I was having a look. Um, when I was having Amelia, I asked for options about for having one child and also for twins. She advised me it's most common for birth to happen naturally for both and less for health reasons and less advised for a C-section. Oh, okay. I see. Because I, like every person that I've known that's had twins, they've all had, um, they've all had C-sections. I don't know if that's just because they, they opt for C-sections or what. I don't know. I'm really not sure. All right, let's go dive for some more deals. Hopefully I can find some more like disgusting things like that. And I can um, get rid of this stuff and put it away. Here you go. Let me put that stuff in. Are you okay? What are you complaining about? You know what? I cannot... Okay, you know, I can't let her get in this bad of a mood because she's actually going to have a um, an unfortunate uh, issue with this birth otherwise. Uh, you get what guys about what I'm saying, you know? So I just want to make sure... Oh my god! Hey, beautiful. I'm wearing your favourite outfit. You want to come over and see it? Like, Lucian, I've literally been away for like two seconds and he's he's already calling me back so I can... Okay, fine. Whatever. He's so cute. <laughs> I bet you I'm going to walk in he's wearing the same damn outfit that he wears every day. But he misses her. He misses her. So he's calling her back. That's sweet. He's probably, he's probably thinking like, you know, you're heavily pregnant. You really should not be out there still working. You should be taking a break. He's so cute. I love him. Yeah, look, he's literally wearing the same goddamn outfit that he wears every time. Okay, right, come in, come use the toilet, come take a shower, and then let's repair the sink as well. All right, hopefully this will um, make her feel a little bit better as well. Right, you go get yourself sorted. Oh, yeah, look, he's feeling all flirty. He's feeling enamored. Just being around a sim that Lucian is enamored with that can fill him with romantic feelings. <gasps> he's so cute. I love him. Honestly, he's so good with the garden. Every single time I come out here, Leaf is taking care of the garden. Wow, okay, good job. Yeah, he is really protective. It's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. All right, is she feeling a little bit better now? I hope so. Yeah, okay, she is feeling a little bit better. All right, you go and take a nap really quick. And then I'm gonna have Lucian. Um, do we need to like do like a grand meal? Yeah, people like grand meal. All right, so we see what we can make. Just a grand breakfast. I guess we're having a grand breakfast then. <laughs> Oh, when are they going to get married? Um, Once the babies are born, I was thinking. Because I kind of wanted the babies to be like toddlers when we get married. So that they're there at the wedding. I think we're going to do it then. We're going to do like a little backyard wedding. It's not going to be anything crazy. Just like a few of their friends to come over. All right, are you doing good? What else do you want to do? Read with an adult. And he also wants to be alone. <gasps> no, who's running away? Who's running away? No one's allowed to run away. What do you mean Lemon is thinking of leaving? No, no, they're not. No, they are not. Is it because they've, they've got enough food? Provide food, cleaning. What else do I need to do? Right, go clean the coop. <laughs> what do they want from me? What do you guys want? Right, I'm going to clean that. And then I'll scatter some more feed nearby. I don't understand. Why, why are my chickens thinking of leaving? Guys, I give you everything. Right, collect the eggs too. And then I think there should be another egg to hatch as well. The coop was dirty, I think. Oh, is that why? Okay. All right, then. Oh, we got another hatchable egg. Wow, we keep getting loads. Oh, and a rainbow egg. Cool. That's really cool. Right, go and get that incubated. Did you think I forgot about your birthday, Leaf? Do you mind if I come over? Oh, my God. Amira is, like, absolutely obsessed with our family. <gasps> okay, come over then. <laughs> It's kind of sweet, I get it, but like it, it's a little much, I'm not going to lie. It's fine. <laughs> oh, they need attention as well. 
They're happy though. You're happy. Oh, you're not happy because you're hungry. Well, let's see once you eat some food if you'll be happier then. Hi, Amira. Thank you for coming over for my birthday. <laughs> not that I really know you. Do you even have a good relationship with her? Oh, she does. Oh, okay. Must be like your mom's friends or something. Okay, where's the grand meal? There it is. Lovely, lovely. Okay, right. Lucian, why don't you go and call everyone to the grand meal? Um, yeah, call to grand meal. Is she married with somebody? What, Amira? No, I don't know, actually. Should we ask? I don't know if she got married. I'm really not sure. When are these babies coming along? Because I'm sitting here waiting for ages. <laughs> Ask about relationship status. Let me ask. I don't know what Lucian's doing. I really don't. I'm ignoring him. <laughs> okay, let me let me find out what he... Um, oh, sorry, whether she has, like, a husband or anything. Or whether she's single. Are you going to ask? Yeah? Are you single? <laughs> uh, yeah, she is. Okay, she's single. Right, come and call everybody to the grand meal then. Not the event being called a hanging out with lover. I know, I know. To be honest, I want to get rid of it. There you go. <laughs> oh, apparently it was nice. Let's do it again. Lucian had loads of fun. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, everyone come grab some food. Are you grabbing any? Where's yours? There you go. You come grab yours. Oh my God, look at everybody on the, on the bed. They're so cute. I love these guys. Okay, you're, you're all cuties. You're all cuties. Oh my god, I thought the hangout with Lover was for Amira and leave. Oh my... No, no, no. We're good, thank you. We're good. Yeah, I know. I need to fix the sink. But also, um, Dawn is super tired, so I don't know if she's going to be able to do it. I don't know. Uh, thank you for the follow, Millie. Don't worry for being late. Don't worry about it. Okay, just call it a day with this and let's just go and repair the thing. Repair the sink. Come on. Right, are you done? Yeah, okay, great. Right, let me put this stuff away. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then you need to get some sleep. Oh my God, she's passing out. Oh no. Oh no, why is she sad? What do you mean missing furry friends? What does she mean? Okay, right, you go get some sleep. Um, Lucian, you're super tired too. Right, can we just get, can we just get this place cleaned up? Because it's, it's actually like overwhelming me how disgusting it is in this house. <laughs> It's too much. Can you can you fix this, please, guys? Just let the poor pregnant woman sleep, okay? Just let her go inside and sleep and let everybody else do it. You all need to pull your weight in this household, okay? You understand me? Amira, I really appreciate you being here for Easter and everything, but you really need to go as well because it's just a little much. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, yeah, you have things to do at home, sure. Got hooked, watched all nine episodes in two days. Oh my God. That's so sweet. I'm glad you enjoyed it though. That's really sweet of you. All right, Amira's gone. Lovely. Um, I'm just going to come and check on the doggies. Just make sure they're okay. Just going to offer my friendship to the doggies and make sure I get them treats and stuff. Here you go. Lovely. Okay, there we go. Right, and then you can go head on off to sleep. Perfect. Right, how are you, Leaf? Are you okay? Yeah. You, you probably need to get some sleep soon as well. Go read. Sure. Oh, well, I've just noticed we have 35 Smolians. Yeah, if the babies come along now, um, it's going to be a real struggle. I'm not going to lie. Um, when is this, like, gig that she's got due? Sunday at nine. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. Oh, my God. Did she just piss herself? Oh, no. She just wet herself. Oh, no. Okay. Don't worry about it. You're pregnant. No, nobody, nobody will even bat an eyelid. Just go, just go shower. No one cares. No one cares. Don't worry. Oh my god, is that lady? <gasps> lady, no, my baby. Oh, look at her. She's sleeping. Oh, lady, she's gone. Oh, my little baby. What a cutie. Okay. Um. Yeah. Safe reminder. Thank you for reminding me. So we already have one bassinet for the baby, but we do need one more. Um, so we do need to, we do need to get a work on with that. Oh my God, so many people are aging up. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, we found some stuff dumpster diving. Should we see what we've got? Let's have a quick look. Right, so we have, let me turn on debug and live edit. What do we have in here? Right, we have these, which we can sell. 
Let me go ahead and sell these. Lovely. I have uh, one of the baby's beds. Um, I'm going to put it right there. Okay, there we go. Lovely. We're going to need another though. Um, we have this crusty, dusty sink. I'm going to put it down. This crusty, dusty thing, which I'm going to sell. And then these are stuff that I'm going to recycle. So I'll just put that in my house inventory. Right, I think that's it. This one, I'm going to repair because I want to use it for the handiness skill. <laughs> Hi, Erin. How are you, sweetie? I hope you're okay. Okay, who is waking up in the house? No, no, go back to sleep. Does somebody try and wake you up? Just go back to sleep, kiddo. Okay, go back to sleep. Okay, we should be getting a notification any minute that Dawn's going to go into labor. I'm just waiting for it at this point. We just got to sit back and wait. Lucian, better get me <laughs> building more sculptures. Have we got any to sell right now? No, we don't. Okay, right, Lucian, you need to get on the money making, my dude. Okay, because um, your wife needs to... Oh, what will be your wife? <laughs> right, you come out here and come repair, repair the sink so I can sell it. There you go. What are you doing, Lucian? Go away. I didn't even tell you to come and do that. You're being so annoying. Oh my God, Lucian. I'm good. I was um, up really early this morning to get an x-ray of my teeth and then straight to work. So I'm knackered. Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully you get a good night's rest tonight though. I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now. You know, I spoke to you and I said I was feeling like kind of kind of trash. I'm feeling a bit better. Um, also, I have... I'll, I'll, t I'll tell all of you guys as well. Um, I have spoken to the doctors to be able to see a uh, mental health nurse. I told you guys uh, like a few a, a little while ago that I've been struggling recently, just not feeling my best. And um, I've been having a very specific issue that I'll probably talk about more once I get it sorted. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I picked up the courage to go and call the mental health nurse. And I'm very proud of myself because <laughs> it took me a, little, a long time, like a few months to actually call them up and fix it. So, or see somebody. Yeah, I have the name of Sim turned off right now, but I will turn it uh, back on when the babies are about to be born so we can name them. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It was like, um, it was a big thing. I don't know. I was just, I, I, you guys know what I'm like. I'm so nervous um, with anything that comes to doctors or anything like that. Um, so I was absolutely petrified of speaking to anybody. Yeah, exactly. It's hard as well. It's hard to accept help, I think. Because in my head, I just think, yeah, I'm fine. I'll just get on with it myself. And then I'm like, no, you know what? Like, I don't I don't need to do that. I can accept to help you. <laughs> I don't need to go through it like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's the first step in it. But I'll let you guys know how it goes anyways when I get some more updates. They should call me back in about two weeks time or under two weeks. With it, within two weeks, I'll be able to talk to them. And um, what are you doing? Oh, he's cleaning it. What, what chap? We love him. Um, but yeah, when I when I know more, I will let you guys know. I've been having a lot of issues with phobias recently. That's probably my major thing. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm an absolute scaredy cat when it comes to lots of things. And mainly my phobias came from like childhood trauma. Um, so like when I was like the reason why I'm absolutely petrified. And when I say petrified of needles, I mean debilitating petrification. Um, if that even even a word, I think I just made it up. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm really, really scared. But when I was younger, I burnt 25% of my body. Uh, so you guys might know it in streams. You guys might see it here. You see like I've got a big burn down my arm. I've also got burns on the backs of my legs. Uh, I used to have a burn like all down my face and all on my neck as well. Um, but when I was a baby, I poured a hot boiling saucepan over me. And um, when I was a baby, I had so many needles, obviously, because I was in hospital for a really long time. Um, and yeah, so I think that's been a contribution of the reason that I'm absolutely petrified of needles. So I can't go get a blood test. I can't go get vaccinations. I can't go do anything to do with even being in the doctors. It's just something to try and overcome. Um, I only just overcome my fear of needles slightly when it came to getting a needle in the dentist. So yeah, <laughs> but that was a nightmare. <laughs> I was crying profusely before I went into the dentist. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah, I don't really talk about it that much because I just like sort of get on with it, you know? Because um, I've had it for years at this point. 
But um, why does she always want to come over? It's neighborhood brawl. You don't need to come over for that, okay? It's too much. <laughs> That's okay. No, no, it, it, no, it was nobody's fault. Well, actually, it was my fault. It was my fault for being a stupid kid. But at the end of the day, I was a kid, you know, so you can't help it. But it's just one of those things. It's not, um, it's not anything that bothers me now, at least. She's got a crush on Lucian. I would expect that. It is going to be her future husband. I would expect her to have a crush on him. That's nice. <laughs> okay, when are these damn kids going to be born? Please, can we just hurry it up? Like, I want to see these kids now. The doctors and dentists are terrifying though. They are. They, you know what? They're not even that bad. I, well, actually, dentists are much less scary. Now that I've been to the dentist, they're way less scary than doctors. I, I will say it. Doctors, terrifying. Dentists, nah, they're okay. They're okay. I've definitely gotten better with dentists. Now I stroll in like, la, la, la. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Your brain does lots of things to protect you from different things. Also, um, I, I told you guys, so the main fear that I'm really struggling with recently, I think I told you guys about it. I've been struggling with it for months. This is the main reason that I'm talking to the mental health nurse. Um, because I struggle to swallow food. So right now, um, I'm not eating any solid food at all um, because I have a phobia of swallowing food and choking which I know sounds ridiculous, but hear me out. I did tell you guys that the reason that I got the nickname Lollipop and my nickname has been Lollipop for a really long time is because when I was a child, I think I was like maybe like eight, seven or eight, nine, roughly about that age. I had a Lollipop and um, it came off the stick as I was running around as a kid and I swallowed it and choked on it. And uh, then I passed out. And then the ambulance turned up. Luckily, I passed out and I stopped struggling and it melted in my throat enough for me to be able to breathe and live. Um, but yeah, it was very traumatic. I burst all the blood vessels in the top half of my face because uh, I was struggling so much. And obviously, um, it's terrifying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I, for the last uh, two, well, the last month, I haven't been able to eat anything solid, no solid foods at all. Um, so whenever I go out for restaurants, I have to eat any food that's in a sauce. That's the only foods I can eat, like pasta in a sauce. That's the, that's as much as I can handle. And I can't eat anything else. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> but I think, uh, well, when I spoke to the mental health nurse over the phone, I think I have anxiety. So I think they're going to prescribe me something for that. And hopefully that will help me with the issues. But that would be nice because it's just annoying. <laughs> Yeah, like the issue is I like I struggle with swallowing and then I think about it too much and then I start choking. Um, so I know it's a, I know it's in my head. It's not it's my body's not stopping me from swallowing, but my head is. Does that make sense? It's one of those things, you know, where you know you're thinking about it. And it, that's the reason that it's becoming the issue. But it's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had some really bad luck growing up. I, I did some really bad things. Like bored hot boiling saucepan over me, burnt myself, choked on a lollipop, loads of different stuff. I know this girl does not leave, right? Like she's always here. Like what are you doing? Okay, right. You know what? Let's just um get some money made because these babies are going to be turning up any second. <laughs> it's PTSD. Yeah, it could be. I don't. I don't know what it is yet. Um, they, they think it's anxiety, like, and that's why I have phobias, but they're, I don't want to say like, oh, they're worse than everybody else's. At the end of the day, everybody's phobia is bad as each other. You know, like people have bad phobias, but it's one, it's, it's, um, it's causing them to be worse. Things where like everyday things like eating food, I can't do, you know, like I can only eat, like, I can't, I can only eat like, um, like food in a water or like food in a water-based food. Does that make sense? Because they're the only foods I can guarantee. Well, you can't choke on it because there's no lumps. <laughs> you don't have to chew anything. It just slides straight down. <laughs> Thank you for saying this. I've dealt with anxiety and panic attacks. It's preventing me from getting help because it requires me for talking to somebody. I don't know. It terrifies me. Trust me. That is exactly the same position that I was in. At the end of the day, the only person who can do it is you. Nobody else can tell you to do something that you're not happy with. You need to be ready to do it and handle it yourself, you know? So I think it's just one of those, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, I, I don't know. It makes me emotional. 
Thank you for still zooming and communicating with us despite all of this. No, no, it's okay. Honestly, you guys make me feel so much better about everything. You remember I said I, I took a bit of time off streaming the like the last few days. Um, you know, like last week was it? That was kind of like what I was like trying to deal with, like talking to the, you know, the nurse and stuff and like working the courage up to talk to the doctor. Just taking a little bit of time to think about what I needed to do and the fact that I needed to take care of myself, you know? Because at the end of the day, if I don't take care of myself, then how the hell can I tell you guys to take care of yourselves? It's not very, um, not very motivating for me or not motivating, but it's not very inspiring for you guys if I can't even take care of myself. And then I'm like, yeah, guys, take care of yourself. I feel like I need to, you know, do it first before I can advocate for it. Doesn't sound ridiculous in my opinion. I'm just worried, you know, when I tell people, cause I'm like, oh, people are gonna think I'm ridiculous. Like people are gonna think that's so stupid. I think that's what I get worried about. Like I tried to, like when I talked to the doctor, I was like, I know this is gonna sound really strange, but like I have a, like I, I'm terrified of like choking on food. So I'm terrified of like swallowing like solid foods. And they were like, that's not ridiculous at all. Like they say like, there's lots of people that have that phobia. And for some reason, I just never have heard of anybody who has that phobia. I've never heard of anybody who like won't eat solid foods because they're scared to choke on it. But that's just not the type of thing that people talk about, you know? Like people, it's the same thing as me. I haven't spoken about it before. So I think it's just, you know. No, did one of them want to be mean to each other? No, did Dawn not? Uh, what? Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Where are the, f sorry, I'm just gonna swear. Where are the babies? <laughs> where are the babies? I don't understand. I don't understand where these kids are. Like they have been in this belly for way too long. Like they need to come out ASAP. Are you like, what are you doing? Guys, like I'm waiting for you. I've been waiting nearly two hours for these children to be born. Where are you going? Oh no, I forgot to throw her a birthday party. I thought, oh no, I thought she wouldn't age up cause she's pregnant. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dawn. No, I'm sorry. Oh, babe, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, she's so sad that I forgot her birthday. Okay, will meditating help you feel better? <laughs> I was too busy talking. Oh, that was my fault completely. Okay, I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Dawn. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's go and get these sculptures that he's made sold. Let's go and stock it and try and get them sold before the babies arrive because, excuse me, Okay, I need to lock the gate, okay? Because people are just coming in, just making themselves at home at my house. It's too much for me to handle, okay? And I'm not really the biggest fan. So if you guys can just like, just leave, that'd be great. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of my house, Maria, leave, leave. Okay, right, I'm going to, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove you, make Sim leave. Yes, right. Who else is in the house that shouldn't be? Is that it? Is there anybody else? Right, Darcy, you're fine. No, no, Darcy, you can stay. You can stay. Darcy, you're my friend. You can stay. You're the only one out of all these people. Oh wait, have I not told her? I don't think she's told her that she got engaged. Oh my God, imagine. Okay, go go and tell her that you got engaged. Oh, she's here for the, she's here for the thing, I think. She's here for the um, yard sale. Um, right, I'm going to, I'm going to lock the door for everybody but household members. And also, I want to lock it for the for the chickens as well. Hopefully it's locked for the chickens. And they can't go walking about. <gasps> oh, I can have a bigger house now. Oh my God, you just made me realize. <gasps> Guys, now that she's an adult, we can extend the house. Oh my God, yes, that is so exciting. We can do house renovations. Well, but we can afford them that is. Right now, we... maybe not. Right now, maybe not. Right, can we, st can we make this floor light yet? Can we do that? Yes, okay, right. Go and fabricate that floor light. Oh my God, I'm so happy that we can actually do that now. Thank God for that. Hopefully while she's busy doing this, these babies will be ready to come out. Like, I swear, they are like, they are way overdue. Like, they must have been due by now, surely. Surely they're due by now. Like, I can't. <laughs> oh my God, they're here. Thank God for that. Oh my goodness, thank God, thank God. Right, end the yard, Sal. Come on, we're going, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> in the yard cell clear the table clear the table come on quick 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 okay stop panicking i know i know it's stressful i know your wife's gonna be having a baby look she's look she's cleaning the damn coop she don't care she's leaking her 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 fluids everywhere 
and she's still cleaning up the damn house. Honestly, Dawn is something else. She is so impressive. Okay, um, we need to have baby at hospital. But before I do that, I'm going to go and buy another, um, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, crib for the baby. Because obviously we're going to be having twins, which is just absolutely ridiculous, by the way. Um, right, okay. So I think we're going to... I think we're going to put them side by side there. We're going to do the... <laughs> right, sorry, lady, but you're going to need to go, like, outside for the time being. Okay, are you okay with that? Yeah? Lady's going to go outside. Um, she was always a bit of an outdoor dog anyways. And then this can be deleted. That can go there. And then we put the babies, like, just snug right there, you know? And then that way, when we get back, <laughs> the babies should go in there, I think. Maybe that's to go outside. Imagine I actually just eject the children to sitting outside. Or subject them, sorry. Not eject them. <laughs> I mean, Dawn's ejecting them currently from her from her womb. Can they just leave? Right, have baby. Dawn is going into labor at the hospital. I want to join her. And I'm going to send Lucian with her. Right, okay. Here we go, guys. Eject button. That's what I felt like doing. I felt like, like, come on. <laughs> Uh, Brittany, sorry, did I miss your bitties? Did I miss them? I'm not sure. Let me know if I did and I'll read them out in a second. Oh, guys, I need to turn on the name redeems. Right, guys, I am going to go and turn on the name redeems. So these babies that Dawn is having, yeah, look, she's like, she's stressed right now. Right, Dawn is currently having two babies. She's having twins, okay? She's having one girl and one boy. So I'm going to go and turn on the name redeems and you guys can redeem one boy name and one girl name. So you do one each, not like one, you know, one per person. So if you want to redeem a girl name or a boy name, specify it and like, let me know. It has to be a nature based name. It can't be any name. It has to be something to do with nature. It's part of the challenge to name them after nature. So I'm going to turn them on. If we get too many redeems of like the same, like if two, if two people redeem for a boy, then I'll just go with first serve, uh, first base first serve first basis i can't remember what i'm saying but um yeah whoever goes for it first i'll will give them give it to them you know does that make sense so i'm gonna go turn them on uh, if you guys want to do the name of sim and then redeem the name of sim but it's one name per person okay um hopefully that's okay all right i'm gonna turn them on pause redeems okay right they're open you can go and click on the little lollies at the bottom of your screen and um it should show you the option to name a sim as well First come, first served. What was I saying? <laughs> okay, we've got Sky for a boy and baby girl called Bloom. <gasps> I love that. Does Sky technically count as a nature name though, Gizmo? I think it does. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the redeems now so that we don't get any more. Thank you guys so much for the redeems. Does Sky count as a as a nature based name? I think it does. I mean Sky is nature, I guess. What do you guys think? Sky, yes. I know, you guys were on it. Like you guys are fast. Sky is a part of nature. Yeah, I think it does count. I think it would count. I really, really love those names though. Those are really, really like, like they're such unique names as well. Oh God. Does the game crash? Okay, I'm going to save just to be sure because I'm like petrified that I'm going to lose it. I didn't just sit here and play through two hours of pregnancy just for this. I knew that you got it. I knew that you got it uh, from Winx, the name. Oh, this is a lovely, um, this is a lovely uh, hospital, isn't it? It's very nice. Okay, so um, we can come and um, ask to check dilation. Well, I'm going to assume, um, I'm going to take Corinne as our um, as our doctor. We'll, we'll do Corinne as our doctor this time. She's actually sitting right next to us. I'm going to ask her to do our, um, our dilation. Let's see how far along she is. Oh my God, wait, Sky and Bloom, wait. Hold on, so someone redeemed Sky. No, did you guys plan this? Did Gizmo and Tiff plan this? Because they're both from w the Winx saga. Did you guys Did you guys collaborate on these names? You must have, surely. You must have collaborated on those. There's no way. <laughs> and they're dating, yeah. <laughs> but let's just ignore that bit, considering they're going to be brother and sister. Okay, right, let's, um, let's see uh, how dilated she is. Okay, we're going to see it all since we're like, I'll just go from this direction so we don't see too much. She's like, you're doing so good. I bet she's one centimeter. Yeah. <laughs> what a nightmare. Okay, right, she's one centimeter in. Um, I'm going to have her go and do some breathing exercises on the bed. Jules is calling. 
Sure, yeah, go for Phoenix. Go get your girl, Jules. Go get it. Okay, let's do some breathing exercises. Oh my god, look at our baby, guys. Oh, look at her. <laughs> No, I just like the name. It's so funny that it actually collaborates with, with the Wink Saga as well. They're both from the Wink Saga. I love the names. They're very good suggestions. Thank you, guys. Um, what did the traffic like say to the car? Don't look. I'm about to change. Sure. Sure. I know. Her boopers are massive. They are absolutely huge. Okay, he's just sitting in here talking to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> funny while well, i was pretending to play air guitar lucian is on some next level like smoking he's smoking something that nobody else has because look like what are you doing really what are you doing he's playing fake air guitar whilst watching the tv whilst his wife i mean his wife is napping in fairness right um we need to go and do some like walking around the hospital to get this like going you know so let's go for a walk also, I definitely think Dawn is going to go for the epidural, considering we just read, luckily, because Daisy uh, sent it to us, that apparently when you have twins, you are highly recommended, uh, na like a natural birth of twins, you're highly recommended to get an epidural, um, just because I imagine it probably hurts double the amount because she's having two children. So, um, yeah, I definitely think we're going to go for that epidural too. <laughs> the doctor just casually turned into a bat. I was just ignoring it. <laughs> I was just ignoring the fact that the doctor is also a vampire who could potentially suck our blood. I mean, actually, that's probably the smartest idea ever. Imagine being a vampire and working in a hospital. Free blood bags. Free blood bags. That is just that is just the best option. That is actually big brain strategies. Honestly, that guy's so smart. What mod is this for the childbirth? It's called the child uh the childbirth mod. It's actually called that. Uh, Neve with the two gifted subs. Thank you so much for the gifted subs, sweets. That's so incredibly generous of you. Thank you, thank you. Gifted a sub to HLab and to Gizmo as well. Thank you so much, sweets. Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Neve for being so incredibly generous? Thank you so much for supporting us. And please, if you did uh, get gifted a sub, make sure you go ahead and say thank you as well. It's uh, just really, really generous to be gifted a sub. Right, um, why don't you come and um, do a bit of sleeping once you've done with your walk, which I think is now because you're really tired. <gasps> oh my God, Darcy. Uh, oh, Darcy's, um, she's texting us. Oh, she's about to pass out. Oops, okay. Well, just, you know, go sleep after that. Uh, Darcy's texting us and saying happy birthday. Um, we should probably tell her that we're in labor actually and just let her know. Bestie, we're in labor. <laughs> if you want to pop down the hospital just to come see me, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. Keep the compliments rolling. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Yeah, I've had a really good stream today so far. Thank you. I'm really good. How are you? Okay, right. You get some decent sleep. Um, how's Lucian doing? He's just like sitting in the waiting room, just waiting for his for his wife to give to give birth. Why don't you come in here? Can I not put like a, a... the issue is there's no chairs in here, so we can't like watch her or like look at her. Like he he just like. He can't be there with her. It's so sad. Okay, well, I guess you're just sitting here by yourself. It's... Okay. Thank you for being there with me, Lucian. <laughs> All right. Why don't we wake back up? Let's uh, let's check the dilation again. Uh, Corin, could we could we have a look and see how dilated we are now? I did one walk and some breathing exercises. Surely. No. What is wrong with you people? Why do you keep messaging me? I don't even know who you are. Can she oh, die pregnant? Oh, um, I believe she can. Yeah, I do think she can. No, no, I don't want. No, 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 I don't want the vampire doing it. No, 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 no. I'm good, thank you. I don't want the vampire doing it. Thank you very much. I'm good. I don't want the vampire doing it. <laughs> I can't trust this guy. I cannot trust Keaton. Okay, how far? Oh my god, she's only three centimeters, guys. Right, where's the yoga ball? I'm gonna buy her the yoga ball. And probably buy another chair so that um, Lucian can come sleep in here too. Um, right, let me grab this this bed. Or this, um, this sofa or whatever it is. Let me put the sofa inside the room. It's a bit big though, isn't it? I guess it's fine. Right, and then we'll get a yoga ball. Yoga. Oh my God, my hair is going everywhere. Get off my keyboard. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna buy her a yoga ball and then she can start doing like, you know, a few bounces on it and things. Let's get it in a green, of course, because she wears green everything. <laughs> okay, right, go and, um, oh my God, our solution for a back massage? Wait, let me see this. Hold on, let me see this. Oh, he's coming in to come look after her. Oh, please tell me they're gonna do it. Oh no, they can't, they can't get on the thing. No, can he not get past? Is that the issue? Let me squidge that over and then I'll put this here. There you go. Hopefully they can get on it now. Can they get on it? Right, go and ask him to give you a back massage. He did say yes like one second ago. <gasps> okay, here we go. Let me see. Get out the way. Go away. Shoo. Shoot, go away. Oh my God. Go away. I'm trying to get this cute moment of my couple. Look at them, guys. <gasps> Look at them. It's so cute. Oh my God, I love it. Could you leave though? Because you're really ruining the moment. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad he listened. <gasps> How cute is this? Oh, he's sitting there like holding her back while she sways on the ball. It's too much. I love these guys. I absolutely love them. They're such a cute little couple, aren't they? No, oh, I love this. The animations for this mod are insane. They actually are. Right, Dawn, I think they can actually sway together like while she stands up as well. Yeah, go do that. Go sway. Let me see this bit too. Let me see the sway. Oh my God, he's going to go get water. Oh my God, he's going to wet himself. Imagine he wets himself all over her while she's sway. <laughs> okay, oh my God, he's still got the water. Maybe he was getting the water for her. Maybe it was, maybe he was getting it for her. Maybe that was it. Oh my God, look at them. He's like, uh, I'm so uncomfortable. I really need to pee, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay here and sway with you for a little bit. <laughs> but I like really need to pee. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. He seems like he's in more pain than she is. <laughs> oh my God. Is that her, is that her waters breaking? They did already break though, didn't they? Is someone in that? Oh, my, my apologies, sorry. I was going to have him go in the toilet. Somebody else was in. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we're going to check her dilation after this as well. Okay. That's enough swaying. That's that's enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Oh, you're so fun to be around. Are you having fun? Is this, is this fun? <laughs> swaying on this ball and giving birth? I don't think I've ever heard somebody describe giving birth as fun. I'm not going to lie. No. No, I don't want you to do it. No, I don't want you to do it. No, Corinne is my doctor. Go away. I, I swear to God, I will delete this guy. I will delete him. Okay, we've swapped rooms because I didn't like that doctor. Oh my God, four centimeters. Is that it? Can I just ask for an epidural to get this like going? Does that mean that she has to just sit down and just sleep? I mean, I guess that's not the worst thing to be honest. <laughs> just give me a moment. I'll be right over to give you the epidural. Okay, like this is terrifying to watch her. No, no, not goodbye. What the? Oh my God, is she smoking a spliff? No. <laughs> my dog's are smoking a joint. No, you know what? I love the vampire. I love the vampire. You are not giving me the epidural. No, absolutely not. Why is she smoking the good kush and not sharing it? The main issue. Share some of that stuff with me. I'm giving birth. What are you smoking for? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> She was like, just give me a minute while I smoke. No, 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 no. She is not doing the epidural. Absolutely not. No. I want the vampire. Give me Kian. <laughs> give me the guy that might actually bite my neck. Absolutely not. Oh my God. Where's she going? Where are you going, babe? <laughs> She's high as a kite right now. <laughs> She's gone home. She got the munchies and went home or something. <laughs> I swear I'm actually gonna report her. My God, not my dogs that are actually just whipping out a joint. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, right. Okay, the doctor, the, the vampire was obviously, oh, no, he's over here, he's waiting. Okay, ask for the epidural from the doctor. I know, she didn't even offer us any of the joint. I mean, that's what's more rude, to be honest. That's what was more rude. Oh, uh, Lucian has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle. Okay, right, I don't need to see the needle. I'm fine, okay? We don't need to see this. You guys can watch and I'll look away. Neve with the gifted sub! Thank you so much for the gifted sub, sweet. You're being so generous. Stop, though. Stop, stop, stop. Walking around helps get it up. Helps get what up? Oh, the, the like, the dilation. 
I was going to say, what are we talking about here? Did it work? Uh-oh, something doesn't feel right. Dawn is only feeling numbness on her, half of her body and she's still in pain. Oh no, it's not working. It's not working. Us to replace epidural. I need another one. It's not working properly. Oh my God, no. Okay, I need another one. What is he doing? Oh, he's just doing like some checks on her. Yeah, I'm telling you for free. It's not working. Oh my God, he's losing it. Oh my God. He's going crazy. Oh my God, I should have had the other doctor. I should have had the one that smoked the joint. What's going on? I mean, more of the question, how the hell is she walking around with half an epidural working? <laughs> Would you just replace the goddamn epidural? I'm so sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if it helps. It, it will be all right. Okay, we'll just let them do that. <laughs> this, this is a terrible hospital. I am reporting you for terrible quality of the service. I am, I, this is America and I am paying for this quality and it is ridiculous. I hope we have insurance. I hope we have insurance. Okay, is it working? Is it working this time? Yeah, okay, it's working, it's working. She's good. Right, why don't you actually get some sleep? Get some sleep. Oh, he's doing another little check just to make sure it's working. I mean, at least this one actually like cares a bit more about. <laughs> what a nightmare though. Right, Lucian, are you asleep too? Yeah, let's just try and get some sleep, okay? Why don't you come and sleep in here with her so she's not like by herself? There you go. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now before I go bankrupt. Very good, Neve. Thank you so much though, but actually do stop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be expecting compensation after these children are born. I'm telling you now. <laughs> this is very co uh, common for the epidural to have to be done over. Really, I didn't know that. I thought it wasn't a very um very regular thing. Is she feeling good now? Yep. Epidural is kicked in. Each contraction is becoming less and less painful. Lovely. But she is a little hungry. Um, can she just walk and like go get some food? Okay. I thought an epidural means she can't move. Apparently not this epidural. <laughs> what is this damn hospital? It's a nightmare, I'm telling you. It's a nightmare. Right, go and grab a sandwich. <laughs> this is a nightmare. My girl apparently... <laughs> my girl apparently has <laughs> an epidural in. That is working, by the way. And she's just going for a walk, grabbing herself a sandwich. No problem there. <laughs> Okay, right, why don't you go and do some exercises on the ball? Because apparently the epidurals, it's working, but you know, apparently not. She's a fighter, she knows no pain. Yeah, and she knows no limits either. You know an epidural is supposed to paralyze you? Not my dawn, that doesn't work on her. <laughs> my girl still has control of all of her limbs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, is she like nearly done? Because like, you know, like 11 days left, 11 days. I'm not sitting here for 11 days, no way. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab Jenny this time. You know, I'm grabbing Jenny. Yeah, her jugs are massive by the way. <laughs> or you, or you, whoever. Okay, I really couldn't care at this point. Fine, you, you, do, you check, you check how far we are. Right, where are we? Seven centimeters. How long have we been here, guys? How long have I been here for? Oh my God. No, I would, I mean, I would love to, but I'm stuck at the hospital and giving birth. So no, I can't do anything fun. <gasps> Her back must be hurting twins and twins. Yeah, okay, Lucian, wake up, dude. Come and give me a back massage. <laughs> at seven centimeters, everything will speed up now. I'm, I'm praying and hoping. Does it say she's even close yet? Anything close, just pain relief. Right, let's do a little bit of back massaging. There we go. What is that on her back? Like some sticky tape? Did they accidentally leave some sticky tape on her back? I think they left something there. <laughs> this is definitely like real life. Yeah, I've been at the hospital for days. My mum, it took 27 hours in labor to have me. I was like, you poor woman. <laughs> you poor woman. Honestly, it puts me off of having children that. <laughs> puts me off. Okay, go and do a few more breathing exercises. Yep, 27 hours. My poor mother. My poor mother. Okay, do a few of those and see how we are. Still 11 days, really? Okay, can we just like sleep our way through it? Like how close are we to having this kid? 
I'm bored. I'm bored. Can we just get a move on? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't want this much realism. I might cheat him. If it if if it takes another two minutes in real life time, I'll just cheat it. <laughs> At this point, just grab the forceps and yank it out. Come on. <laughs> We're done. Thank you very much. Oh my god, and she's hungry again. Okay. Right, come on then. Let's go. Yeah, can they not give her any of that medication that like makes her like induce? Go and grab a pastry. Oh yeah, woohoo. What woohooing will make her will make her give birth? She's currently in labor. I really can't imagine she would be thinking that that's <laughs> I really don't be thinking. She's thinking, yeah, you know what? Let's just woohoo. Mid labor. Children are coming down the canal right now. But you know what? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's hop to it. Come on, let's do a bit of woohoo. I really don't think that's the thing on her mind right now. Yeah, maybe not when you're in labor though are you telling me people are in labor and they're they're doing the they're doing the dirty there's no way i don't believe you i don't believe that people are doing the dirty whilst in labor like what if you what if you touch the kid though like what if it touches the, the child's head like that's kind of weird <laughs> that's kind of strange <laughs> Oh, it's to put them in labor. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's pre-labor. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, there's no way you're in labor. The child is currently vacating the premises and you're like, <laughs> off we go. Let's go. Do a bit of woohoo. No, no one's, no one's saying that. No one's saying that. I don't believe you. <laughs> IRL people do it. I mean, then people are weird. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that's, a, that's some strange behavior. Oh, it said it's go time. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. It's not go time. Okay, right, right, okay. Could we just ask to check dilation? And if I'm not there, it's been two minutes. Right, if we're not 10 centimeters dilated, then I am skipping him. No, 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 no. I am not family friendly. I'm family aware. I'm family aware. <laughs> Right, okay, come on then, let's go. Otherwise, I'm cheating it. Right, let's see, how are we doing? Where are we? Nine centimeters! Oh my god, we're nearly there, guys, we're nearly there. Right, Lucian, come give me a back massage and then we'll be done. One more, come on, one more. Oh, Jules is calling. Oh, great! <laughs> in that whole time while I was giving birth, he asked me, should I go on a date with Phoenix? And in that whole time, he went on a date with Phoenix and now they're together. Uh, that's great for you, that's lovely. <laughs> I'm glad you and Phoenix worked that out. In the meantime, oh my god! Did he get. Oh my god! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god! The vampire bit him. The vampire, the doctor, Dawn's doctor, bit him. Oh my god, wait, they're going in. Oh my god, guys, it's happening! It's happening! <gasps> quick! Quick! Come be here! Quick, 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 quick! Come participate! Quick! You're not here. No, no. Quick, Lucian. Oh my God, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss the birth of your children. Hurry up. Hurry up, Katie. Quick, Lucian, run. I know you just got bitten by a vampire, but you need to hurry up. Your wife is giving birth without you. You have twins vacating her womb right now and you're not even there. And all you care about is buying a snack. God damn it. Don't stop. Stop with the snack. Oh my God. Can you come here and participate in this birthing? Why is he not joining in? Why are you not joining in? Oh my God, the damn baby's here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he didn't even join in. He didn't even like, it's okay, babe, don't worry. You're doing so great. He was like, I'm just gonna go grab a sandwich. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, not even that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go grab a sandwich. See you later. The audacity of this man. What is he doing? <laughs> okay, right. Um... Dawn just gave birth to a baby girl. The baby girl is going to be called Bloom Whimsy, um, which was suggested by Tiffany. Thank you so much, Tiff. I love you. Appreciate you. So we have first baby is little baby Bloom. And then we have our second baby, which is a boy and uh, suggested by Gizmo, said to call him Sky. 
which I know both of the names are by Wink Saga and in the Wink Saga, they're also dating. Let's just ignore that, okay? Let's just pretend we didn't see that. Either way, they're very cute names. <laughs> okay, so we've got Sky Whimsy and Bloom Whimsy. Very, very cute names. There we go. Okay, let me see them. Here we go. Oh, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Hold on. I'll, I'll turn it around so we don't see too much because we've got shadows so we can see a little much. Here we go. Oh, my God. Baby number one. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby number two. Baby number two. Let's go. Let's go. You're doing so good, Dawn. I know you're doing it all by yourself because apparently your husband can't even be here for it, but it's so cute. Oh, guys. Look at them. Oh, look at the little boobies. No, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> No, look, it's so cute. Two objects. <laughs> now, where did you get that pal skin? Yeah, where did that come from, huh? Because mummy and daddy don't look like that, okay? Sims, can you sort your ish out? Why do my children... Why are my children like that? Okay, she's given birth and she should go to the OBGYN. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. Thank you very much. Wait, whose baby is that? <laughs> It's theirs. I trust me. We did IVF. It is it's definitely theirs. Right. Okay. Right. Let's um. Let's go back home now. We're done. How was how was the birth? Is she saying anything about it? She needs to go to the toilet. She says. Oh, touchy tears. Dawn hates going to the bathroom. A side effect that she didn't really see coming after birth. Oh, I bet. Giving birth to two babies naturally. Oof. That's gonna be a stinger. I think that's gonna be a stinger. <laughs> I'm born with their diapers on already. That is what I call efficiency. <laughs> boobers are back. Yeah, boobers are back to normal. I mean, they're still they're still boobering, but they're just not not boobers, you know. They're they're boobering. Just boobers, you know. Switched by birth or accidentally inseminated by another dude. Don't say that. Imagine. Imagine it's not even Lucian that's the dad. No, actually. That's <laughs> triggering. No, he's definitely the dad. We definitely selected the right dad, right? Chap? We did, right? Right, chap. <laughs> yeah. I checked MCC. I did. I checked MCC to make sure he was the dad. We did him. Maybe when they get home, they'll like, they'll get darker. Maybe it's just because they came out. So maybe, we, you know, maybe they're a little like, I don't know, anemic. Oh my God. Wait, okay, how's this going? Right, Leaf says he likes his new brother, Sky. Okay, what do you think of your sister? Okay, he likes Sky. Have you have you met have you met Bloom yet? Okay, he likes meeting he, he likes meeting him. What about Bloom? Do you like Bloom? Do you like Bloom? What do we think? Oh, Peanut aged up. I missed that. Oh my god, what's he doing? Oh my god, look at him being a good little brother. Oh my God, what a cutie. Do you like her too? Not as much. <laughs> he, he cares more about his, 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 um, his brother. His, um, yeah, he cares more about his brother than he does about his sister, but it's okay. He likes them. That's good enough. Anyways. Oh my God, look at the dogs. <laughs> I came back to a whole new house. Hi dogs, hi. Right, we've got a little peanut here. And we've also got a little hazel. Look how cute they are. <laughs> He's like, meh. Bloom's all right. I, pr I prefer Sky. <laughs> oh my God. She comes home and she's being bloody attacked by bees. What a nightmare. I know the dogs are massive. I know. Absolutely huge. Oh no, you're upset. What's up, Hazel? Oh no, Hazel's upset. I think maybe you need a toilet or maybe you need a treat or something. Why don't you try and give Hazel a treat? What's up, baby? What's up? What do you want? Do you want a treat? Off a big treat. There you go. I think you just need a big treat, huh, girl? Yeah? You want a big treat? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dogs are easy. Feed them. Jules, actually, I've just given birth. Um, so I'd love that, but but no. No, I also would not really like that. So, no, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you. She stole the gown. That's comfy. I'll keep it, thanks. Yeah, we just got home. Um, the babies aren't any darker than they were a second ago. Um... Thanks for the call, babe. Have a good day. Why are you calling me babe? I thought we weren't even friends anymore. What is he talking about? Like, actually, what is he talking about? Where is he? Where is Eric? Where is he on this list? Eric, who even are you anymore? Really, who are you? We're not even friends anymore because you got all upset because I cut you off. Look, they're not even friends. And he's like, yeah, sure, babe. Thanks for the call. He is trying so hard. 
It's so sad, Eric. It's so sad. Give it up, baby. Give it up. It's it's done. Like, you don't need to keep trying. What are you doing? Okay, right. There we go. Right. Why don't we... Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Stop crying. Stop crying. Right. Oh, are you going to come in and help? Oh, my God. He's helping with his baby brother. Okay, why don't, why don't you change his nappy and feed him? Oh, my God. Look at little Leaf helping. Oh, you're such a good brother. There you go. Change his nappy and feed him a bottle. There we go. Oh, what really a good brother. Oh, oh, okay. I see you guys make it maybe in baby number four there, huh? You want to make baby number... Yeah. Oh, my God. He's thinking about woohoo. Really? You're not going to woohoo with her. There's no way you're asking for woohoo. She just gave birth. Give her a break. She just said that it hurts to go toilet, okay? You're going to give her a damn break at least for four hours until her pain's worn off. <laughs> this man. Oh, oh la la. <laughs> Let's go for baby number four. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> What's the mod called where they send texts? It's part of the slice of life mod. Um, I recently installed it, but I really like it. He, yeah, he's already ready for the next one, huh? He's already ready. Right, okay. Oh my god, why are the dogs inside? Doggies, you sleep outside. Right, Hazel out here. Peanut out here. Come on, guys. You're not inside dogs. We can't we can't have dogs and babies and and the kid. We can't have you all out here, okay? Come on. You guys sleep here. Great. All right, let's go to sleep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I really, really hope we're gonna get a babies update. I really hope. Because on on um tuesday i don't know if you guys know i don't know if you guys heard on tuesday uh tuesday the i don't know what day it is exactly i can't remember but on tuesday there's gonna be a sims live stream and apparently there's gonna be big big news for the sims i personally don't believe they're gonna be announcing sims 5 but i hope that they will be announcing either refreshes for packs they'll be giving us um you know like an idea of like new packs that are coming out on the 18th thank you uh new packs that are coming out hopefully we're gonna get a roadmap as well so we'll kind of know like when um when uh you know new packs are gonna be coming out over the next three months like we normally do and I'm really, really hoping that we'll get like a refresh on stuff we've been asking for, um, you know, like packs or babies or, you know, just something. So I'm really, really hoping that we're going to we're going to get some updates and, you know, some some roadmaps and stuff like that. Very much hoping, but I hope so. Yeah, I really hope we get a babies update. That would be amazing. Like that would be incredible if we like if these did, weren't like this. If we got an update for babies that was like Sims 2, that's all I want, okay? Sims 2 babies was so interactable. In fact, I want to do a live stream at some point. Right now, it's not something I'm considering, you know, right now because it's a lull. I've got too much to worry about with all the series that we're going to be streaming. But um, at some point, I really, really want to stream The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 to you guys and play like a, like a quick like series of them. See how you guys enjoy them because there's a lot of people that have never seen The Sims 2 and Sims 3. And if you haven't seen it, you physically can't compare. But trust me, when I tell you the babies in those games and the like gameplay content that came with it how like, extensive it was was superior it was so so good and people that have only played the sims 4 obviously i don't blame you but you wouldn't have known that you wouldn't have known like how good the previous games were um although yeah graphic graphics wise the sims 4 is the best definitely but in terms of gameplay and depth the other games have it down to a t so yeah i really really want to do that at some point because um yeah, but either way, I hope that The Sims 4 um, does end up improving babies. That would be great. Toddlers are actually really good in The Sims 4. I feel like they're actually pretty good. Um, but babies need an update, definitely. They need to be more of like interactable objects, be able to like, I don't know, move them around, put them in strollers, like move them around, you know, things like that. They need to be able to be more movable objects, I think. Because <laughs> right now they're just stuck in their crib. They can't go anywhere and they're just really boring to deal with. So I really want, really want some updates for those, but we will see what is going on um but either way i am gonna go ahead and end tonight's stream off here i was hoping that we were actually gonna be able to get the babies aged up in today's stream but obviously because it take it took 50 million years for her to go into labor we didn't end up uh being able to we didn't end up being able to do that but it's fine because i'm back streaming again tomorrow at 8 p.m our usual time with more whimsy stories so we'll be able to see the babies aged up in tomorrow's stream so if you guys are looking forward to that then make sure you're here in tomorrow's stream at 8 p.m we'll definitely be aging both of the babies up uh, to toddlers so we'll get a chance to see like how they look what genetics they took who they look like you know i'm really excited to see that see who gets like what genetics from each of their uh, parents 
But I'm going to go ahead and end tonight's stream off here. If you guys want to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and end the YouTube recording. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching today's video. If you did, if you guys did enjoy today's video, remember to go ahead and leave a like, hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell next to it. That way you won't miss any of the videos on this channel. Also remember to go ahead and follow me on my Twitch channel down below and also follow me on my Twitter where I keep all of you guys updated with what's going on in any of my series, or whatever I'm doing. It's my most like up-to-date social. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye guys.